Drop it. Hello, welcome back. For today's example, I'm going to show to you how we work with line feeds and carriage return. But let's look at the definition first. So a line feed means moving one line forward. So in some programming language, if you see backslash n, it means that you move line forward, backslash n, right? And then we also have here carriage return means moving the cursor to the beginning of the line. In some cases, you use backslash r for the codes here. Now, in assembly language, line feed uses A here, and carriage return uses D, okay, as our code. So let's create a program that would demonstrate the use of the line feed and carriage return. Now, I'm going to display my name again. So before we had this example displayed on a single line, now we're going to have it or we're going to apply the use of the line feed and carriage return. So let's start. So you press the bug here. Now let's start with our assembly instruction. First thing that we have to uh, type is for us to request to display a single character or a character that is to type here move ah then 0 2 the next is we're going to display our first character in this in this way we type here move dl and that is 48 so that's capital letter h next is we're going to type here interrupt 21 okay then after that, we need to call now the line feed. So we have to type here move dl and then oa. Okay? That is the hexadecimal value of our line feed. Then execute it, interrupt 21, enter, and then followed by a carriage return which is in a move dl. O D. Okay, so that is the hexadecimal value of our carriage return. Now, then you also need to type here interrupt 21 to call the interrupt service. Enter. So that's our first character. Let's now proceed to our second character. Move DL 61 interrupt 21. Then let's call our move DL Okay, for our line feed, interrupt 21, move DL, OD, for our carriage return, interrupt 21. So that's our second character. Moving to our third. So we have here move DL, and that is 64, interrupt 21, move DL, OA, interrupt 21. Then we have our carriage return, which is OD, interrupt 21. Let's have proceed to letter J. Move uh, DL, and that is 6A, interrupt 21. Move OA, uh, move, sorry, DL, OA, okay, interrupt 21, move DL, OD, 21, and let's have the last letter which is I, so move DL, 69, interrupt 21 move OD move DL OD OD interrupt 21 and courage return move DL OA interrupt 21 
Then last is we end the program by typing interrupt 20 enter. Okay, so that's our code. So it's quite long. Next is we're going to get the uh, file size by using the hexadecimal command hex. So we have here at 140, then 100. So we're going to use 40 bytes. So let's use our CX register. Type in 40. Then let's write to a file. Let's give it a name test4.com. Write and then quit. Okay, so let's test. Let's show first the file. So we have here test4.com. Let's clear screen and then let's type here test4 enter. Now we're able to display my name using the line feed and carriage return. Okay? So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.